101. Do I have a show for you today? But I'm gonna take you on a tour of this fabulous ranch. We need to see some cool stuff. Let's go. Hey, Custer, come here, boy. Come here, Custer. Come here. This here's Custer. He's my ranch dog. He's a slobbery one. He goes with me on all my adventures across this fabulous ranch. So he's gonna come along with us and this John Deere over here. Come on. What do we, Custer? Right, come on, Custer, get in. Now, Custer, will you be a mighty good boy and close that door over there for me? <laughs> Woo! We're gonna get this thing rolling, aren't we, boy? <laughs> now, the first destination of ours today uh, is to go up and visit some mighty nine bovine friends of ours, Honey and Pearl. There's some sweet little things. We're gonna take care of them today, see how they're doing. You know, it's funny. I think Custer here has a little bit of a crush on honey and pearl. <laughs> said something about wanting honey to be his honeysuckle. And he, uh, he said something about pearl. What'd you tell me, Custer? You said, she's got a mother of pearl sheen about her. Something or other. So I think he's about to go have an encounter with his crushes here. Anyways, this is a spot. Call a, a miscellaneous apparatus. I have quite a few of these laying around. I think they're from the 70s. That's when they were uh, developed. Uh, over here, we got my toilet. Uh, let, let's not show them inside of that one. Uh, that's just a premium design of mine that I kind of came up with on the spur of the moment. Uh, here's my tractor that I run around sometimes uh, to scare the chickens off. This is my box of uh, robot toys. Uh, uh, this one, this one's for pulling out Custard's teeth when he gets a toothache. Let me see. This one's, this one's for treating him right whenever he does something bad. Give him a licking. This right here, this right here is to get earwax out of my ear. What I do is I take this and I insert it down my ear tube and squeeze, and I just kind of put a little vacuum sucker in there and it sucks it all right out with the WD-40. Let's go in here now. Now in here, <laughs> oh boy, this is, this is a room that you probably would never thought you'd get to see. See, this is where I keep the cow food. And this is, well, this is deer form, this is the cow food. And I have some stuff written on the board here. Uh, some philosophy of mine. Came up with some stuff. Thought maybe that would get popular. Uh, here we have Honey and Pearl uh, owner's manual. So you, you can see how to squeeze the juices out of those little nublets down there. Never actually tried that yet. But you know, we might sometimes do. We might. All right. Custard, I think this is, this is where you have your lucky day. Come on up, kid. I like to keep my cows as comfortable as possible. But first here, well, first I'd like you all to notice what's scattered around the ground. I call them nature's brownies. Never actually tried them, but I've heard they can mean, make some pretty mean biscuits when you grill them uh, over an open and roasted fire. Now here they are. Pony and Pearl! Pony and Pearl! How you doing, girls? Look at them. Ain't they just as cuddly as a couple Winnie the Poohs? I mean, look at them. Here, let, let's, let's walk around this side and see if we can get better. Come here, girls. Come here, girl. Come here, girls. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Oh. All right, I think, 
think they just love me so much they get nervous around me. <laughs> I wish you could say it save yourself, Custard. That's right. Ma'am. Looks like those ladies got too nervous. All right. M missed opportunity, girls. Anyway, that was kind of a kind of corky bubble Morgan, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, Custer, let's go. I'll race you. I'll race you. Oh. Woo! 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 Woo!
my, here's my main herd. Let's see if I can name them all. Okay. Bessie, uh, Rexy, Metsy, Lexi, Trickle, Dickle, Sickle, Mickle, Nickel, Hickle, Zickle. Here's Olive. Now Olive right here to the right is my favorite. I think she's just about the cuddliest cow you ever did see. I mean, they don't get much color than that. <laughs> oh boy. I think uh, the camera crew picked up Custard because he was causing a little bit of commotion back there. Coming up on the mules. These are my best friends, the mules. Come here, girls! Girls and boys, one and all, come here. Come here. Come here now. Come here now. Come on. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Look at this. I got you a little hat. Want a hat? Don't want a hat? Uh, hey, I got an agenda feed those. They're big frat puppies. Uh, well, we didn't look to feed them. Oh, hang on, dude, please. Put this thing in nooch. Want some food? They're just not in the mood today. Oh, well, hey! Now, there you are, Alexa. I have not seen you in the longest time. It has been a while. They're all flocking toward us now. I think they think they think we got something for them. <laughs> My camera girl had to fix a little situation there. Oh. Don't want to get a full cow lick in the face. All right, come on. Move on now. Come on now, come on, come on, come on now. Look at that big fat face, come on, move. move. Well, I must say it was a beautiful day at the ranch. Accomplished a lot of things. Got to go for a nice little swim in the swimming hole. And it sure is a pretty day. Thank you for watching this episode of Bark Bubble Buster Ranching 101. I hope you all enjoyed. Come out next time for more adventures with me and my dog Custer. Uh, the next episode, I think we're going to dissect this little fish that we got over here sitting on a log. Uh, we filleted it earlier, but uh, it's not looking so nice anymore, don't you know?